What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in. It's Igers here back again. Today I'm sharing the knowledge regarding the API usage directly from Zabbix software. <coughs> the API can be used through the Actions section or via the native HTTP agent functionality. I'm taking this video because a uh, repeated usage of API calls can result into a slowness inside the front end. How scary is that? If we do not end our API calls with the user dot logout procedure, then it will add plus one session key inside the sessions table. This means that on each navigation step inside the front end, it will be an extra work for the web server to ensure that your session key is still valid. We can observe the current situation by entering the Zabbix database right now and using the following query. Select count star from sessions. It will report a number. If the number is bigger than 1 million, then I congratulate you. You have been a victim of major front-end slowdown. In general, if the query did report thousands of records, it's absolutely fine to run Kate <laughs> to, <laughs> to run truncate sessions which will instantly discard all the existing users and also optimize the stable. I will also rerun the previous select to see if my truncate sessions did any good job. Count equals zero, no sessions in the session table. Inside the front end, if I try to navigate to a different section, for example, administration general, the front end will request to authorize again. Oh no, writing a username which is valid and writing a valid password, sign in. If there were tens of thousands of records inside the sessions table, then surely you will know of notice the navigation is much smoother. Going back to initial topic about API, I'm thinking for a way to not grow the session stable at all. A decision was made and I decided to run and maintain one session key on a global, 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 global level. Similarly, it's done with the SNMP community name. Let's open administration general macros. Four variables must be configured here, an API username and password. This is a real username of Zabbix. Apart from that, we have the URL and endpoint to the Zabbix API calls. And the last one, the currently actively running session key. Since this session ID will be very crucial for other things other future things to function well. I'm having a separate template just to monitor if the session ID is still valid. The template will utilize a native HTTP agent item, which is available starting from 4.0. The item will use one very light API call. It will ask to list how many proxy servers the instance has it's okay if you have none. The item still will be capable to gather an indication that the session ID is still working. You see the macro which expands uh, to session ID also lies here and API endpoint is configured in the URL field. Okay, since I did already execute truncate sessions and I'm already running the template attached to a host, now it's time to check out problems on board. It says session key is not valid, HTTP works fine. If I navigate to trigger description, it shows a curl command on how to obtain a new session key. 
because a dedicated API username and password and URL are already configured on a global level, then I can blindly use a triple click to select a command and copy it to clipboard. Go back to the command line, quit my SQL client and paste the command. It will print a new session ID. I will copy this guy. I have left a global macro section wide open. I will plot there a new session ID and update. Now it's required to reload the Zabbix server's configuration cache. Let's go back again to the command line, Zabbix underscore server minus capital R config cache will load. Then in the very next 10 seconds, the problem will get resolved because the item fetching interval is 10 seconds. In the end, we can see the trigger is now resolved and our global session ID is valid again. All right, guys, this was all I wanted to share today. The template is available through the video description. Why you need a template? Because this was a base config for the upcoming videos. In the meantime, remember to stay creative and I see you next time.